Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we are gonna go take on Wanker again. We're gonna head into that little shitty tower off in this purple place and fucking kick his ass while he's all crying about his radicate and stuff. Not that there's anything wrong with radicate or gay people. I just felt that that needed to be said. I don't know why, but it feels appropriate. Oh my god, Greg Clefairy. But anyhow. But anyhow. I don't know where I was going with that. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm the king of awkward intros and outros. I'm just straight up. This channel is like straight awkwardness. Anyhow. Um, he should be pretty much level 25 and under. So, yeah. Um, here's the plan. Since we've got four, and I think he's got four or five Pokemon. So I think it's, I think it's four, maybe out of five. I don't know. I don't know really. Anyhow, and since all of ours are level 26 and above, and Stella and Mokana can fucking knock out a couple of them on their own, um, I think we're pretty much just gonna roll in there as is and see what we can do. Um, his Kadabra will be a problem, but his Kadabra is only level 20. I think, or something like that. I checked. So, you know, give or take, it could be, it could be a problem, but probably not. I would like to get showed some practice and stuff, but like I said, I think I'm gonna save that for a grinding, you know, not really montage, but, you know, go out and grind before, between this episode and the next one, which is why I, you know, handed, man, these guys are on crack. Look at them fucking bounce up and down. I'm like, rah, 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 rah. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're gonna go let Wanker know we're- Oh, fucking, never mind, false start. We're gonna go let Wanker know we're here and, and we mean business and all that good shit and whatnot. Hey, yo, look who it is. Hey, Gray, what brings you here? Is your Pokemon dead? Hey, it's alive. I can at least make them faint. Let's go, ho. You know what, son? You need to be taught a little something, something about your purple pants. Yeah, see, it's five. Pidgeotto. He's got a Pidgeotto to lead, so I think, like I said, 25 should be the max. I don't know really what he's gonna lead with, but anyway. Um, after this fight, or after this, yeah, yeah, after this fight, we'll head back towards Celadon and make our way that way. And then we've got Erica coming up. And obviously the whole Team Rocket Giovanni thing, so we got some finally interesting episodes. Hopefully everybody's like, oh, fuck this shit. Oh, I don't want to watch this. This shit sucks. All he's doing is running through the fucking tunnel and pissing people off. Yeah, you know, yeah. Hopefully you stomach through that and, and it'll get better. Because, you know, shit's gonna happen. Shit's gonna happen for real, son. You just don't execute. I mean, this is where, like, Stella being Stella. And Stella's gonna get a lot of work here and she'll probably be a fucking Pidgeot before long because. Obviously, Erica's grass, and well, we ain't got nothing except this good old wing attack here for you to hold on to, you stupid pile of eggs. Look like somebody shit out little things and didn't cover them up or something like a cat does. I don't know. Get Dabra. See, this. <sighs> this is the problem because Granker and McCain will get their shit fucked up. Dirt Machine doesn't have any special defense, so I think since Chode is... Well, hold on. Let me take a look at you. You get... Mm, I can't... Yeah, charges... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boost the electric shit. I could... I could... I could do that. Always does. You know what? Let's fucking do it. Just cause, I, you know, I, this is probably gonna blow up terribly. But you know what? I just, just want to try. I just want to try. I'm pretty sure Psychic or whatever it's got will fuck my shit up. Considering it's four levels higher than me, and Sonic Boom clearly won't kill. Yeah, there's confusion, and it's gonna fuck your shits up. Yeah, and then you're like, oh, I'm confused. Um, I don't know which way. So how does fucking Chode hurt itself? Like, it ain't got no fucking arms and shit even, right? I mean, goddamn. But I really wanted at least to switch in for the experience. It should be a decent amount, because Kadabra's fucking bastard. Little fucking 
star forehead tattoo shit. Yeah, fuck you and hold my wing attack, bitch. Get out of here. Get your fat ass tail out of here. Which, by the way, how does it lose it? You ever notice that? Ain't got no tail and shit when it's fucking out of Kazam, right? Or am I just out of my goddamn mind? We are gonna roll with Mokena on this thing because he's high enough level. It shouldn't matter on this Gyarados. Um. Yeah, apparently we're fucking overleveled as hell. I mean, the, I was, the guy that I was looking at was like, Oh, you can come back and fight him. It'll be a hell of a lot easier later. Then I'm like, what the fuck, man? All of our, well, all of our battle-worthy Pokemon are fucking... Fuck your thrash and shit. It's like all of our battle-ready... Battle-ready? Battle-ready Pokemon are all fucking... 26 higher. I mean, it's, it's, there ain't much that this guy can fucking do to us. Yeah, you're all confused because you're all like thrashing the boot and shit, bastard. I mean, it, yeah. Like I said, I mean, fucking Stella is like five, six levels higher than everything he's fucking got. So it's like, well, you know, I, I think we can handle him. I mean, I'm just saying, I think we can handle him. See, this is why I like Leech Seed. Look at that. Even even the fucking flying combination he has on him, although fucking now and later gens, you know, fucking Ivasaur and Gyarados and get his shit fucked up. Um, I am ready for this goddamn bullshit burn, which has happened like every time we fucking fought this thing. But that's the anchor on his team, and it's the last thing he's got, so. Hopefully our Rock Tomb will come through and fuck his shit up. We'll probably have to do it at least twice. Yeah, that's what I thought. But luckily it lowers his speed, and he's going to be dumb and use Growl for god knows what reason. This better fucking knock him out. I'm going to be pretty, pretty upset. Oh, now I'm pretty upset. He had no clue how upset. Yeah, now he's going to use a gun burn. It's going to burn. Yes, yeah, see, look at that. What the fuck did I... Every time this goddamn Charmian faces a dirt machine here, he, he, he gets the burn off. What a fucking prick. That's all I'm saying is, what a fucking prick. Yeah, get on out of here. Damn you. See, that's shit that irritates me in games. It's when shit like that, like... Like... When you know, when you're like, oh, watch, this is gonna happen. And then, oh, lo and behold, it fucking happens. It's like, oh, yeah, it's just all chance shit. You know, it's like, well, how the fuck can I predict it and stuff? I mean, at least with, like, the matchup and Magnemites and stuff, at least we stand a chance of that being wrong. At least that's kind of sort of random, even though, you know, yeah, they all have their specific Pokemon that they're supposed to have, and it doesn't change, but you know what I'm talking about. I mean, at least it's not like every fucking hiker is like, oh, well, he has a chance of having a matchup. Oh, look at that, he has a matchup every fucking time. Yeah, it's, it irritates me. Football manager does that a little bit too much too. It's like, oh look, how much you wanna bet something bad's gonna happen to my team? Well look at that, something bad happened to my team. Yeah, you know, oh of course everyone's like, oh you know, it's like fucking real and shit. Right. I'm not sure if there's anything we're supposed to do up here, but I'm gonna fucking double check anyway. But you know, yeah, it's like when you're sitting there thinking, hey, I'll give you twenty bucks, I'm gonna get burned, and then oh look at that, you burn. Well, clearly. Clearly I was right, kids. What in the fuck is going on? The hell is this? I've never seen that before. I have gotta look into that shit. That's some freaky shit. What the fuck? Is that supposed to happen? Wow. Uh, yeah, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Anyway. Um, yeah, we'll we'll just head on head on out this way and shit and stuff and shit, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm saying, right? Because we got all these all these little bitches and his friends to fucking take around. Oh, you like Nidorans, so you collect them. Let me guess, you have Nidorans in your promiscuous little standing with your back turned thing. I mean, come on now. I mean, seriously, like, no one's like, ha ha ha, that looks like, insert words here, 
Oh, you got a double kick. Double kick. Pretty sure Pidgeotto does not have a normal type. It's in Gen 2. Which, as I've said before, is the dumbest thing in the world. Ah, oh, of course. Poison Point. Who would have thought, right? I mean, it's like, fucking, ah, I got a Nidorina with Poison Point. Ain't no Nidorina's holding Poison Point, right? Should have went and fucking hit up the Poké Center before I came out here. Karate Chop. Oh, no me gusta. Poison Sting. Poisoned? Yep! Oh, that see? Fucking shit. Fucking shit. Ah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. It's just one of them fucking days. Oh, Mega Punch, of course, misses. And you can get the bite, you can get the flinchies. Oh, actually, I don't know if you can get the flinchies, but you get the fucking poison in. Well, you're just fucking doing a number on me right now. Is this gonna do something? Please do something. Nope. And damn. But I wouldn't give for a goddamn. Ooh, you know what I probably should have done? Oh, wait, does it? Does it get the ground typing or anything yet? Or no? I don't remember. Might we just be the fucking Nita Queen thing? I don't know. I could really go for some fucking DQ right now. How about you? Some fucking ice cream? Fucking yeah, right? Warm be outside. Some ice cream. Hmm. Scrumptious. But first, we gotta fucking heal before we do that shit. You okay with that? Or are you gonna throw a fit? Better not throw a fit. I'll smack the shit out of you. Reach this fucking TV. TV? Computer, monitor, screen thing. Whatever the fuck you're watching this shit on, smack the shit out of you. I don't know what I'm saying. I really don't. Anyhow. Um. So yeah, there I was. Yeah, so let me guess, she has me out. Do all these girls look exactly the same? This is getting weird. Shit's getting weird, guys. Shit's getting very weird. But I am glad that we have a fighting time, though. That's actually coming pretty handy. I thought I thought Grinko was supposed to evolve at 26. I obviously am wrong. But he should be evolving soon. Um, Pidgeotto should be soon as well. Which will obviously, you know, make shit everybody better and the team better. And yeah, before the next episode, I think I'm gonna go and grind Chode up a little bit, get him a good 10 levels or so. Um, just to have a fifth member that's halfway decent. Um, obviously when we get Celadon, like I said, we get What's Her Nuts coming up, Erica, and we're gonna have to lean on Stella for that. Hopefully in the grinding, while I'm grinding, I won't have to lean on her too much. Because, you know, I don't want to get her too high a level, because, you know, we got that Team Rocket shit, too. The, um, the side quest shit, as I call it. Because it's kind of a, eh, I don't know. It's not that great as far as I'm concerned. But I think we went over that before, how, um, you know, that shit to me is kind of like, you know, fucking, kind of like, uh, kind of like a side quest. Because it's not really, I mean, like, I don't know, it's weird. Like, they do it, but it doesn't really, it's, I think the thing is, like, they do this Team Rocket shit, but all that shit is resolved before you beat the Elite Four. So therefore, to me, it feels like a side quest. It doesn't feel like it's part of the main quest, part of the super relevant part of the game. I mean, it's relevant because, you know, you gotta go save the world like in fucking Gen 6, or it's like, oh, well, go fucking save them and shit. You know, that sort of thing, but, you know, I don't know. It's always felt second rate to me, and I'm not really a big quest um, or, or side quest person. I, I've just never really been into that shit. I kind of like more of a, you know, more of a make your own story thing, which I think I kind of hit on in, in, in the, um, the, the fear videos as well. You know what? Never really. <sighs> Nidoran. 
least we got some good levels on, on, on fucking. God damn, she's got three more. Holy shit. What is this crap? What is this crap? Anyway, fucking purple. That's the one thing I never liked about Nidoran. I like Nidoran. I think it's a cool design. Really cool Pokemon. Fucking Pikachu, really? But the fact that he's fucking purple, and I don't like purple at all. At all. Purple and yellow are the two colors that, honestly, if the world did not have any of those colors in them, it'd be a much better world. Not lying. Seriously. Uh, I guess it's just fucking... Oh, yeah, of course you'll quick attack. And Rock Doom would miss. Little fucking hedgehog out here. I can't see the fucking see Pikachu for the light of day. Anyhow. I just don't like the purple and Ditto King. And that really is the one thing that keeps me from using him. Seriously, it's just like, oh, it's this big purple blob. I'm like, eh. Eh. It's cool spiky bits, but... Eh. Purple. Why can't he be like fucking red or brown? God, if he was a nice, nice turd color, I'd be happy. I'm not gonna lie. I think, I think brown's a pretty color. You know, I mean, like, who doesn't like pooping? I mean, seriously. You know, it's like, it's just a nice, happy color. No? Nobody, nobody else. Ooh, a little biker. Oh, I know what this fucking asshole has. A muck or a coughing. Oh, that's something that's kind of weird about this game. Is like, I know I mentioned it, or these games. I know I mentioned it before. How you know you can kind of tell what Pokemon, what what Pokemon to expect by what type of sprite the person is, or whatever. Which is kind of like, you know, when you think about it, it's kind of stereotypical. You know, and and I'm not, you know, it's just, yeah, I don't know. It's just weird. Like, oh, look at that. A biker's gonna have something that pollutes the fucking environment, right? I mean, I'm not saying I'm defending bikers or anything, because I think motorcycles are the most goddamn annoying thing in the world. There's nothing more invasive, in my honest opinion, than some loud ass machine that someone fucking rides around and, you know, just makes all sorts of fucking noise to the point that you can't hear yourself talk to somebody in your own backyard. That That's the reason I don't own a firearm. Seriously, because I would probably go on a fucking rampage. Not kidding. Not kidding at all. Yeah, assholes that look like that guy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Fucker like that drives by my house. That's why I don't own a gun. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I think I'll leave it off on that note. You know, if you made it this, this far on YouTube, you know, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for, you know, helping get this... This, uh, fucking channel off the ground, if you've been watching, uh, you know, there's ain't nobody signing up and subbing and, and shit, which is probably a testament to my, to my shittiness and recording and my crappy commentary, because I'm not a funny person. And if you're waiting for me to get funny, you're gonna be waiting a while. Just saying. Just saying. Anyhow. Thanks a lot for watching. You made it this far on YouTube, so you know what to do. I'll see you next time. I will get fear up and all that stuff. But anyway, keep pants optional.